What is going on everyone, this is Nero again, and welcome to Parish, one of the newest DLC maps here in Mall for 3. This is actually on the Final Assault package, the Final Assault DLC pack, coming from Infinity War. This is probably going to be the last DLC pack in Mall for 3, uh, to my knowledge anyway, I might be wrong about that, but I love this map. This map is amazing. Um, usually when I do these walkthroughs, right, like any other walkthroughs, let's I'm gonna use um, Liberation for example, or maybe... Um, you know, any of the old DLC maps that came out, like some of the face-off maps, I never actually played them in the multiplayer before I actually went through and did the walkthrough. And what I really enjoy about the walk, uh, you know, actually playing these maps before I do the walkthrough, is I know where everything's at, and this is pretty good. This map is amazing. I can actually tell you from experience my opinions on this map, you know, not just about how they look and how I think they'll function, but rather how they actually function. And I've played this map, I'm gonna say north of 10 times. I've actually gotten, the reason I'm using a golden USAS here is because right here in this room, Room. I got a quad with the U USAS right here is pretty awesome. I'm not gonna lie, I was pretty pumped. That was like my second game ever playing. And I have a couple gameplays on this map. I'm actually gonna be. I actually really look forward to posting up in the near future. And uh, it looks like this Humvee really here here actually parked in the wrong spot. But this map plays amazing. So I've played this map in multiple game modes. I've played Capture the Flag. I've played Team Deathmatch. I played Dom Kill Confirmed. I've been playing the Elite Playlist with Elite Objectives and. Um, I'm playing a whole bunch of different stuff. This map plays phenomenal. So let's talk about actually what about the map, wait, what the map is before we get into it. First and foremost, we are in New Orleans, ladies and gentlemen. We are in New Orleans. One interesting thing I found about the uh, Final Assault package here in Mall for Three is the fact that everything, every single map, is in America. Uh, this map, Parish, is in New Orleans. Uh, Gulch is in. Um, where is it? Oh, Utah. And then Boardwalk is in New Jersey. So all three of these maps are in America, so that's kind of cool. Uh, we're like not like in Russia or Germany or any place like that like we have been in previous Call of Duties. Um, but the map itself, phenomenal. In terms of looks, it's pretty amazing. I found this cool. St. Kevin's, Ca Kevin's Catholic Parish and Father T. McCool. <laughs> in memory of Pixel Hopman. That's who uh, that's who runs this church, is uh, Father T. McCool, but obviously I don't think Mr. T. McCool has been hanging out here much lately because uh, the roof's kind of blown off and uh, there's a bunch of rubble and it's everything. So the main focal point of the map would be this courtyard right here. It's in the middle of the map, let's check out the mini map. The map itself, though it may look somewhat big, look at the actual areas. The darker areas of the mini map are where you can actually run. Everything else is just like obstacles and things that get in your way. So this is actually a really close quarter map. When I play this map, typically I use a USAS or I use some form of shotgun. Uh, B domination is actually right here in the middle. Actually, I think it sits right here in this area, or maybe this is where the bomb site's at for demo. I don't know. But either way, right here in the middle is like the main focal point of the map. This alleyway right here, another huge focal point. Like you come down here, you're always gonna find kills right here. You know, if you uh, down this hallway right here, there's always kills right here. Then there's obviously people can spawn over here in this corner. It's a very tight playing map. Then they got this over here that you can uh, run through. You you can run this way to get yourself, you, know, you kind of cut off people in the middle of this alleyway, or you could possibly come up through here. Let's go back around real quick. You can, or you can come through this way, which will take you the long way around. And just in case you're strapped for time, you can walk through right here, which is also pretty good. So you can get through there. Very nice. One of the bomb sites for uh, demolition is right here. I think search and destroy probably as well. But I'm yet to play search and destroy on this map. Uh, there's two. There's three actual buildings in which you can get into. One of them, this building right here. I have found through my experience in the multiplayer. Uh, this gorgeous looking building with fire dropping from the ceiling is um it, people rarely use it now like let's say for in demolition for example i know the bomb site is right here uh, when people plant the bomb typically they crouch this corner or they'll go crouch this corner or they'll crouch this corner you know they always pick a corner right around the bomb when i plant the bomb i'm in this building man people do people really don't notice that this building is actually here because you have to go all the way around right here uh, to get into it, people don't even think to look run through here. Uh, this is just a free. This is just a building. What is this? The Spyglass Boutique, old Spyglass Boutique. Um, this is just an area of the map that people don't go through a lot. And it's actually a pretty nice building to go through. Uh, one of the bigger hotspots of the map would be definitely right here inside this bar. It's kind of an Irish pub, I think, and um, definitely a big hot spot right here because it's right next to the courtyard. Courtyard's got this wall in which you can jump over. Which I use. I have range on my USAS, so I'll jump over the wall and I'll shoot people that are coming out of there, and I'll take them out. Man, it works out very well. Uh, like I said, big focal point of this map would be this area. Then obviously there's the church, and the church is it's 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 hectic in here. It's close, yet an assault rifle can uh, dominate. Personally, I think submachine guns and shotguns dominate this map, which I like that kind of aspect of the map. 
Uh, you got this inside the church. It's not overly big, but uh, it's pretty nice. Works out pretty well. And then you know, obviously it takes you down here. The map flows. In terms of map flow, that's one of the biggest things for me. One, do maps look good? In terms of the colors, this map is pretty gorgeous. It's it's not dark and dreary. It's a nice map. Uh, two, the gameplay is phenomenal on this map. And here's a title that people rarely go through here. Usually when they come out of the church, they'll cut across and go through right here. But now and again, you'll catch people that are coming through this way. Um, overall, an amazing map. Amazing map. And if you guys have played this, let me know in the comments section below what you guys think or just by what you guys have seen. And typically when I do these, I like to show you guys where the teddy bears are at. So we're going to go through this little tunnel alleyway here. The, mind you, this alleyway, very hectic. Lots of people in this alleyway at all times. But if you're wondering where the teddy bear would be, it's in this back building that no one ever goes into. You go in here and uh, you get yourself a naked female mannequin. Ooh, boobies. And then right here, it's kind of dark. You might not be able to see it that well. Uh, let me see if I can get a better angle. Teddy bear. Yeah, and Taylor sitting right there. So that is my walkthrough. That is my breakdown for you guys of the map parish. It is phenomenal. It is amazing. I love it. And uh, <laughs> um, at the end of this video, you're going to see links to the other maps. Hey, there's a park here in the outside of the map. You're going to see links to um, the other maps I did. I did Golog and I also did not Gulag. I keep calling it Gulag. It's called Gulch. I did the walkthrough of Gulch. And I'm also going to be doing a walkthrough of uh, Boardwalk as well. So uh, all great maps. I, this is probably my favorite DLC pack that has come out so far. It's uh, every map's phenomenal. Every map plays well and every map actually looks good, which is a big thing for me. So hope you guys all enjoyed. Remember the video. Hope you guys all have a wonderful day. I was banging seven grand rocks as I rolled. Winning. I got one gear go. Are you bipolar? I'm by winner. Win here, win there, win everywhere. I'm a total freaking star from Mars. Winning. Come on, bro, I got target.